Hey, what up, Ty 1822? Here, do a video response to the drama series on John Cena being, you know, bigger than the WWE title in the main event. Now, like he said on the video, CM Punk, you know, he beat John Cena for the championship at Money in the Bank. He the third longest reigning WWE champion. And the only time he main evented the, the uh, pay-per-view, you know, as the champion was against Alberto Del Rio in the Miz at TLC pay-per-view. And now, you know, you got the storyline with him and John Cena about to happen and Punk, you know, talking about I get no respect. And it shows you how, like, the company been struggling to make new stars to put other guys in the main event. Because a long time ago, they was able to switch up superstars in the main event. Today, WWE, the belief in the talent, they got talent to build, like, Dolph Ziggler, a guy that could be in the main event. But they just take too damn long to build this guy. You know, Sam Punk did his thing. Main event, you know, with Cena... It was a great match, Money in the Bank. Everybody thought Punk would be that guy, you know, to be the second guy behind Cena or, you know, take the WWE to another level. But the company dropped the ball on a hot storyline because Sam Punk was the biggest name in professional wrestling at that time. But like I said, the company dropped the ball. So you got Cena, you know, main event in these matches, and half of the matches he main event. No big storylines. I mean, it really been no big storylines where you can say, okay, I understand why I've seen it in the main event. Because the storyline been, you know, it's been going on for a long time. But it been no great storyline where you can say, okay, I understand why, you know, he's in the main event. If I if, if it was like that, I had no problem with it. And like he said, the WWE title is the most prestigious title in the company. It should always be in the main event. But it's not. I mean, that's the problem right there. Um, Cena, yes, he is the biggest guy in the company, but John Cena, he's great merchandise sales, you know, do all that stuff for the kid, but when it comes to pay-per-view buy rates, uh, more older people order the pay-per-views, they not order it for John Cena. You know, kids love Cena, their parents order it for them, but, you know, these kids not going to say, Mom, Dad, you know, only time I want y'all to order is... If John Cena in the main event, it's not like a kid going to say, oh, John Cena not in the main event. I don't want to watch this. A kid want to watch that pay-per-view regardless. So it's older people who order these pay-per-views. And they don't want to see Cena in the main event. John Cena main event a match against John Laronitis. I mean, come on. John Laronitis in the main event with John Cena. No great storyline. No build-up or nothing. That's the main event. That shows you the company is struggling to make new stars. And that's the problem. And I'm going to go back in a day. A uh, former WWF champion. They had matches that didn't main event. 1999, SummerSlam, The Rock versus Billy Gunn didn't main event. And, and today, WWE, The Rock, and Billy Gunn could main event. That's how bad the WWE main event roster is of superstars. 2000. Remember Stone Cold, Big Angle? Who hit him with the car? We all found out. It was Rikishi. So, Stone Cold Steve Austin, former WWE champion, versus Rikishi, No Mercy 2000, did a main event. But today, that's the main event. Stone Cold, Rock, two legends, two superstars at that time, former champions, did a main event. They, they, uh, but they did main event that match. Rikishi, Stone Cold, did a main event. Rock, Billy Gunn, did a main event. But today, John Laronitis and John Cena, main evented. That's 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 a problem right there. That's a problem right there for the company. That's a Big problem right there. That John Laronitis. And John Laronitis get a main event spot over superstars. That's a big problem right there. Big ass problem. Let's show you that the company's been struggling for years to create new stars. Because John Laronitis should even be in a main event, period. Not at all. And the company did that. 
So that shows you this company is falling, you know, hard, man, when it comes to the roster, man. This, like I said, I just picked two matches out. I don't need to go, you know, the other matches. I only had to bring those matches up. Rock, all, Rock, Rock and Austin, man, you know, they didn't always main event it. Even as former champions, they didn't always main event. I mean, on a real, I mean, The Rock, when he lost his belt and he had matches at pit reviews, I, I can't name one match besides WrestleMania 28 against John Cena non-title match. But I can't really remember another Rock match where he main evented, main evented and had the belt on the line. Like, look at this. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock at WrestleMania 19. Two big legends. The main event. The main event, the WWE title. Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar. Stone Cold and The Rock, you know, had more star power than both guys. But WWE decided to still put the newcomer, Brock Lesnar, against the great wrestler, Kurt Angle, for the WWE title. Because the belt was important. See that right there? But now in the WWE, you can't get the WWE title in a main event. Unless it's John Cena. The Miz. Got in the main event match against John Cena. Cause John Cena. The Miz should have never, ever main event WrestleMania. Who was it, 26? I mean, I like The Miz, but The Miz in the main event? No. So, you know, just like to say in this video, uh, you know, since I responded, you know, to the drama series, I'm going to plug his channel because he makes great videos and I won't be disappointed. So don't forget, subscribe to the drama series. I put his uh, channel right in the description box. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.